Hey guys, so this year there has been a fairly large amount of IPOs that have taken place in the market that have generated quite a lot of hype around them. Now Airbnb could potentially top the lot with their IPO that is coming out this week. Airbnb are a fairly well known company that a lot of people do believe are innovating in the space they're in at the moment. And because of this, a lot of people are looking at potentially buying the Airbnb IPO, which is generating quite a lot of hype right now amongst investors. So in today's video, I'll be giving a brief overview of Airbnb's IPO and some of the key details and financials surrounding that. I'll also be looking at the long-term potential of a company like Airbnb. Uh, and as well as this, I'll be looking at some of the concerns that I do have around the IPO, as well as Airbnb as a company overall. At the end, I'll also give my own opinions on what I'm going to be doing with Airbnb and whether I will be buying the IPO or not. So hopefully this video does give you a bit more of an insight into the IPO that's coming out and can help you to make your mind up whether you want to invest or not. If you do enjoy it, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like, as that really does help me out a lot. Also be sure to subscribe if you want to see similar videos like this in the future. And apart from that guys, let's get right into it. So let's first take a look at Airbnb's IPO details and some of the key financials surrounding the IPO. So just quickly for those that don't know, Airbnb connects people who are looking to rent out their home with people who are looking for accommodation in the area. This allows hosts to generate extra income for themselves from their space, while also facilitating relatively inexpensive accommodation for tourists or travellers. It basically is a win-win situation for both parties. So Airbnb have 150 million active users around the world and have had 260 million users that have booked and stayed at some point in the past. So Airbnb is set to IPO on the 10th of December under the ticker symbol ABNB. Shares were originally priced at between $45 and $50, which valued the company at $35 billion. However, this has since been hiked up to between $56 and $60, which does value the company at $42 billion on the high scale on a fully diluted basis. Now Airbnb was valued at $31 billion for its last seed funding that took place in 2017 and was rumoured to be valued at $42 billion pre-pandemic. However, with the pandemic drastically impacting Airbnb's business, they have since been valued at $18 billion after raising $2 billion in debt to manage through the early months of the pandemic. This means that Airbnb will have quite a generous valuation when it IPOs, when we consider its previous valuations and the timeframes of these valuations. So in Q4 of 2019, Airbnb had 75.8 million nights and experiences booked, which then dropped to only 28 million in Q2 of 2020 due to the pandemic. Things have improved quite a lot since then though, and in Q3 of 2020, they are back up to 61.8 million. Airbnb had a revenue of 2.55 billion in 2017, which then grew to 3.65 billion in 2018, and then again to 4.8 billion in 2019. This is quite an impressive revenue growth rate, almost doubling their revenue in just two years. Their revenue for the nine months ending 30th of September in 2020 is 2.5 billion, which is down from the previous period in 2019 of 3.7 billion. This is quite inevitable though, as the sector they are operating in has been hit quite hard by the pandemic, and other companies in the space have also experienced uh, similar drops to this. Despite the drop in revenue though, Airbnb still managed to achieve their best ever quarter in terms of adjusted EBITDA, achieving 503.4 million in Q3 of 2020. This is up significantly from the year over year data, which was 313.6 million for Q3 of 2019. Now this is largely due to Airbnb significantly reducing their spending on sales and marketing, which has pretty much halved for 2020 compared to 2019. This is positive to see because it does suggest to me that Airbnb can be a very profitable company when they start to slow down the amount they're spending on growth. So now let's take a look at some long-term potential arguments for Airbnb. So in 2019, the global hotel industry was worth $550 billion in revenue. This is a large market that Airbnb have access to and gives them plenty of room to continue to grow and gain market share from traditional hotels in the future. Airbnb don't rely heavily on any particular city for their revenue and they are quite well diversified uh, geographically across 220 different countries. 
in 2019 and the first nine months of 2020, no individual city had more than a 1.5% share of Airbnb's total listings or more than a 2.5% share of Airbnb's total revenue. So despite being beaten down by the pandemic, it is possible that we see a sharp rise in people traveling once everything has cleared up, uh, which will potentially be late 2021 and going into 2022. A lot of people have not been able to go on holiday much over the past year and have therefore been saving their money to travel lots when things go back to normal. The pandemic could have also shifted people's opinions on travel and could mean that people are no longer taking it for granted that they can travel around the world, which could potentially lead to a permanent increase in global travel. So Airbnb are part of the global online travel market, which is expected to increase at a compounded average growth rate of 13.16% up until 2023. The overall value of this market is expected to be at over $1.1 trillion by the end of 2023. And finally, 90% of Airbnb's visitors do come organically from using a search engine or by going directly to Airbnb through their website or their app. This does suggest to me that Airbnb could potentially start to reduce their spend on advertising and marketing uh, further down the line. It also does suggest that people who have used Airbnb before do enjoy the service that they have received and are therefore likely to directly go to Airbnb in the future. This can also be backed up by the fact that Airbnb state in their IPO filing that 69% of their revenue was generated by stays from repeat guests. So now looking at some of the main concerns that I have with Airbnb and the IPO. So one significant risk that Airbnb do face is the continued legal and regulation challenges. Some cities do feel like Airbnb are violating certain business laws and feel like Airbnb are taking business away from smaller and more local hospitality businesses. 70% of Airbnb's top 200 largest revenue generating cities had introduced some type of regulation on short term rentals. This does include capping the number of nights that can be legally offered by a host. For example, in London, this is 90 nights per year. Major hotel chains do also have a lot of lobbying power and see Airbnb as a major threat to their business. They are likely to continue to try and slow down Airbnb's growth and expansion across different places in the world in order to retain as much of the market share as possible for themselves. So it's clear that Airbnb is a fast growing company. However, their yearly growth is starting to slow down even before the pandemic. Airbnb had $38 billion in annual gross booking value in 2019, which is up from $8.1 billion uh, in 2015. Over these four years, though, yearly growth of this booking value has been on a decline steadily every year. Between 2015 and 2016, the growth was 73%, which then drops to 51% for the next year, then 40%, and then 29% between 2018 and 2019. So these growth numbers are obviously still pretty good, but it does show that the growth is definitely slowing down and it makes me wonder if they will start to stagnate at some point uh, in the next sort of five years or so. Also, looking at things pessimistically, the pandemic may have caused some people to be permanently cautious about traveling in the future, especially if they are elderly or have underlying health problems. This could cause global travel to be permanently lower in the future, negatively affecting Airbnb. Obviously, no one really knows what is going to happen in the next two to five years, uh, but this is definitely something to bear in mind. Another thing to remember is that companies do go public when it is the best time for them, not necessarily for their investors. To me, it appears that Airbnb could be looking to cash in on the super hot IPO market that has taken shape in 2020 and will be looking to maximise the amount of money that they can get from their investors. And then finally, Airbnb have recently cut their workforce by 25%, which is not a particularly encouraging sign to see for a company that you're looking to invest in. So final thoughts, am I going to be buying the Airbnb IPO? So the way that I look at it is that I think that the IPO price is a little bit too high. I think that the valuation that Airbnb are setting for themselves is probably a tad too high when you consider the pandemic and the effects that this has had on the business. Because of this, I could see the price of a Airbnb share potentially dropping over the next few months uh, where it could reach a lower price point to get in. However, with that being said, 
The IPO market is extremely hyped right now and a lot of people are looking to jump in on these brand new companies that come onto the market. Because of this, I could see the Airbnb stock price potentially even doubling over the next few months if a lot of people are looking to jump in on this stock and looking to make money on it. After all, Airbnb is a tech-based stock and they're also an innovative company and a lot of people are looking to invest in companies just like that. Tech and innovation have been quite successful uh, sectors in the market over recent time, so there's no reason to believe that Airbnb can't follow in these footsteps. So with all that being said, I think I will probably take up a small position in Airbnb. Uh, very small compared to my um, portfolio size though. I'm not looking to put too much money into this. And I'm going to sort of watch the price over the next sort of four or five months. And if it does go down quite a bit, I'll probably look to buy some more. With that being said though guys, um, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Um, this video is for purely entertainment purposes only. And it's based on my own personal research and opinions. You should definitely do a lot more research uh, on your own before you look to buy into a company um, and you should definitely not just buy in based on what someone is saying on YouTube. So that is all for today's video guys. Um, please leave a like if you did enjoy it, it really does help me out a lot. Also remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this in the future. Also remember to leave a comment, let me know what you think of the Airbnb IPO and let me know if you're going to be buying some uh, when it gets released. And apart from that guys, thanks a lot for watching.